Stephanie Stevens with the C++ Foundation. I'm here at Grace Hopper. Um, and Hi, I'm Victoria Swartz. I'm a junior at the College of New Jersey, and I'm a computer science, and I am a mentor. Well, uh, Victoria has told me that she's actually done some C++ development, so we're gonna. She's gonna talk about her project and just her initial uh, experiences with the language, and she's had some. She had some experience with Java before that. So just kind of you know give you I guess give us the viewers uh, kind of a perspective of how you first went from Java to C++ with your initial thoughts. Yeah, so I got into coding in high school, and that's initially where I learned Java. And then once I got into college, actually our intro class was Java again. So I was like, oh, okay, I know this. And Java was the first coding language that I really learned. So naturally, I thought it was the best thing ever. I thought, this is the epitome of all languages. Why doesn't everyone know Java? And like, little did I know, my next class, which taught data structures, actually taught me C++. And like, it opened up a whole new world. Because Java is so cumbersome. It's just so much like typing and like if you want to do something simple, there's like a million lines of code. And then I realized like C++, everything's so like streamlined, everything's so much easier. It's just the syntax just made perfect sense to me. And then even after that, I've explored C and I was like, well, this is just, this is too much again. There's, if you want to like print something out, it's, it's, it's again too cumbersome. And like C++ is that like magical, middle ground where it gives you all the power you need without being overly cumbersome in like the nitty gritty details and still being a really elegant simple language. And you actually you actually worked on some projects. Can you talk about these projects? So uh, I think the biggest project I worked on which probably was about a month long was building out a UI that included a mock meal service plan. So like a college Wait, a meal service plan? Meal service plan. So like in college, um, if there's any college people watching, which I'm sure there will be, you know like you swipe into your meal hall and it detects from your allotted points, whatever that is, or dollars that you put in that day. And I mean not only students use this, faculty use this. So it was building out faculty accounts, student accounts, um, reading in the data from the students and faculty. Uh, building a interface and terminal so you can navigate a menu to you know, buy a meal, um, add points to your account because we all know we get like hungry and it's like 11 at night and you buy way too much food and then you regret it the next day when you're like, oh, I have like two dollars left and I really need lunch. Um, and it was honestly, it was a really pleasure to code in C++. Since then, I've done projects in a bunch of other languages. I've used like Ruby. Recently I've started like Python, obviously I've done Java in the past, past, and I think C++ is just, I don't know, it's that like perfect mix of all the different programming languages to me. I probably sounds terribly corny. I'm like no, lusting after not, a not language. Here, not this, this no way. But I, it's just like, it's like that perfect, that perfect mix, and I really enjoy coding in it. Now you said that you were introduced to C++ in college. Yes, in college. And so before, now, was it an introductory course or was it like a more advanced course? Uh, actually, it's a there's a path at my college, TCNJ, that you have to go through. So one of the required courses is databases, and in databases you are required to learn C++. They make sure that in your developing probably like first year in college that you're going to be exposed to Java, C++, and C. They're all extremely important languages to know, you know, go to grow up and go up into industry. And I mean, some people kind of fall into like one or the other that they really love. I know a lot of people who are like, I love C. It's the best thing ever. I'm like, you're crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. And if you're like, Java is great. I'm like, eh, no. C++. It's like that beautiful medium where you don't have to sacrifice power or control for the ease of use and the I guess user friendly wouldn't be quite the right word, but maybe like developer friendly, yeah. if that's a term I could throw out there. Um, now, so if you were going from Java to C++, was there anything about the C++ language, like any sort of constructs or uh, feature that you kind of struggled with? I mean, was it, I mean, was the syntax like very easily understood right from the get go, or were there certain concepts or um, constructs that were, were challenging? I wouldn't say there was anything that was particularly challenging. I actually picked it up really quickly. The only thing that was like 
new for me, I guess, not that it was a challenge, was the idea of importing libraries. That was a whole new concept to me, but it's also one of the reasons I like to do this so much, is that you can import libraries and kind of pick and choose what you need and want, and you don't have to have a bunch of stuff that you don't need. Oh, okay. Because in Java, it's, it's, just, it's just everything. You have everything in there, and you might not even use all of it. What's the point? It's not streamlined at all. So. I actually, I, it's terrible. I just really like C++. Yeah. It's the best language, and I can't wait till I get to use it again. So, are you looking, since you're here at Grace Hopper, I assume you're doing yeah. interviewing for jobs and so forth. Yes. Have you been interviewing for C++ jobs at all? Then? Yeah, actually, the funny thing is, a lot of times when I go to anyone to interview, the first thing they look at is all the coding languages, and the ones that they always underline is Java, C, and C++. So they're like, oh, you know C++? I do. That's my favorite language. <laughs> How could I well not? Said. We have a new community member. <laughs> That's awesome. So, um, so in your experiences here at Grace Hopper, like how many companies, like what percentage would you estimate favor C++? Oh, 100%. Oh, really? 100% okay. of the ones I've gone to. And like I've gone to Intel, I've gone to Microsoft. I'm trying to think um, anyone really likes video games because I'm kind of into that. I've gone to EA, Activision, they both really like that. I do C++. Um, there's a lot of engines that are coding in C and C++, if I'm remembering correctly. But I can't think of a single company that wouldn't want someone to go to C++. So what is your experience, at, what is your, your, uh, your perception of Grace Hopper the conference? It's huge. I've never <laughs> been to a conference before. And I mean, conferences already are kind of intimidating because you're meeting a bunch of new yeah. people. But to be in a room with, I think it was like first day, 12,000 other women in computing was crazy because I have been in engineering and STEM programs since I was really little. And naturally, you end up being like the one girl or like one of two in most of those situations. And like sometimes the guys were like great, and I had some really fun projects. Sometimes there's some negative experiences in there, but I don't know, it's really empowering to be around all these other women who code and hearing their stories, and sometimes they come from like really hard backgrounds to see how they use technology to promote themselves, and through that, even like promote members of their family. Uh, my roommate like, was trying to get her mom to go back to college because she had some unfortunate situations, and like get into tech and try to empower yourself, because just because you know you're above 30 doesn't mean you can't go back to college, learn C++, get a crazy good job. <laughs> so, but for those people out there, and one of the things I've heard at the conference is that you know, C++ is hard, or it's you know it's, it's, it's too intimidating, right? Yeah. What would be your uh, recommendation or your advice to those people who are thinking about going to C++? They might be intimidated, and it might be too hard. What's your advice to them? Um, I'd say sometimes a programming language seems a lot crazier than it is. Like I know when I heard C, I was like, oh my god, this is too much. But my recommendation is start small, look for tutorials online, do a really tiny project, bigger than Hello World, although that's important <laughs> and we all love it as we developers. All know Hello World. <laughs> but like start something really small and then try to slowly work up from there. I find if you if you start with a tiny project and you kind of understand the base of the language, then your ideas start flowing and you're able to really flourish and make a great application. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I thank you for your time. I thank you for your time on the interview, and we'll upload this to the CDPCon channel. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>